This is your Weather Extreme video for Tuesday, January the 26th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. And yes, I'm sitting in for the under the weather James Spann. There's a look at our surface map for today. And the uh, interesting part of it is that we have a cold front moving through the southeastern U.S. That front will be slowly moving uh, and steadily moving through the state of Alabama today. In the upper atmosphere, we have an unusual um, trough uh, pattern. Uh, the strongest part of the trough, of course, is over the Great Lakes. Uh, but what's going to happen is the trough is going to actually kind of drag and become oriented uh, northeast to southwest. And that's going to allow the front to move through, but slowly. And then uh, eventually the trough will come through the area uh, on the, around Thursday. And that will finally uh, clear us completely from the clouds. Temperatures this morning are... Uh, Above where we typically are for this time of year, as a matter of fact, our typical highs are in the middle 50s, and we're in the lower 50s right now, uh, Tuscaloosa even already in the middle 50s. So it's uh, a somewhat warm, but with the rain that's coming it's uh, and temperatures only expected to get into the upper 50s today, it'll be somewhat cool. You may need an umbrella as well as a jacket. Radar shows that we do have this line of showers uh, and I haven't seen any um, lightning reported with uh, this so far but we could see uh, a little bit of lightning with some peals of thunder. Uh, the uh, front will be moving steadily and slowly to the southeast. On the watch warning map uh, we have some winter weather advisories over the southwestern U.S. parts of New Mexico and uh, southwest Texas. Some winter weather advisories up uh, in next to uh, Lake Michigan, and there's some freezing rain advisories over uh, in parts of Pennsylvania and New York. But otherwise, the map is relatively clear. QPF-wise, we're looking on the order of probably about uh, three quarters to one and a half inches over central and north Alabama uh, for this particular rain event. Once this rain event gets by us, it looks like we should be in pretty good shape and dry as we head uh, until the first of next week. And we have some nice warm temperatures expected for the weekend. Storm Prediction Center is out looking uh, some thunder along the Gulf Coast and across South Florida for day one. For day two, uh, the thunder is confined to extreme southern uh, Georgia, southeastern Alabama, and Florida, with a marginal risk for severe storms across the uh, southern Florida peninsula. And that marginal risk moves to the extreme southern part of Florida peninsula on day three. All right, let's get to the 060 GFS model run this morning. And there comes our front uh, at the surface. And in the upper atmosphere, we've got this uh, interesting elongated uh, trough situation, which is going to be good for us because it's going to allow us to get colder, but not extremely cold. Uh, we've got the main part of the trough over the Great Lakes, and then we've got another part hanging back over uh, New Mexico and West Texas. That pattern by Wednesday uh, becomes very elongated as the upper part shears on out and uh, the, the southern part of it over um, northern Mexico becomes sort of orphaned. And uh, the GFS is fairly bullish on taking the front through. I'm, I'm a little slower, but I think by Wednesday afternoon we should see the front uh, through central Alabama with the rain moving uh, off to the east and to the southeast, but rain still a possibility across the southern part of the state of Alabama. Thursday, that lower part uh, of the trough begins to come by us uh, as it moves by along the, the uh, northern part of the Gulf of Mexico, and that should definitely uh, clear us out. But notice that the, the southerly, or pardon me, the uh, surface flow is not really uh, coming way out of Canada down into the southeastern U.S. It is coming from the northern United States, so it will be colder. But uh, when we get out to Friday, the high moves over us, and so that cuts off the cold air advection. So Thursday is probably going to be one of our cooler days as temperatures drop below freezing once again. And by Saturday, we've uh, coming under southerly flow and southwesterly flow aloft, but southerly flow at the surface as the high moves over North Florida and southwesterly flow aloft as the upper air pattern uh, becomes very favorable for us to warm up. We go pretty much zonal by Sunday, so uh, we've still got a little bit of a southwesterly fetch, so that ought to warm us up. 
And we stay that way uh, Monday as another system begins to take shape out over the uh, uh, northern uh, or the central and southern Rockies. And then at the surface, because we've had moisture increase, we may see some uh, showers. But I think the best chance for rain will come with this system on Tuesday as this upper air system moves out of the Rockies. And it's going to produce a very strong low uh, surface low uh, in the vicinity of uh, eastern Kansas. And uh, that will be producing a cold front that will move across the Mississippi River Valley uh, during the day Tuesday. And this um, may generate a severe weather uh, potential for the lower Mississippi River Valley and up into the Ohio River Valley, uh, as well as a fairly significant winter storm from uh, Denver and from Colorado up into uh, the uh, Minnesota, Wisconsin area. So, we're verging on voodoo, but uh, no specifics just yet. Uh, you saw on the watch warning map, there's no watches or warnings out. But indeed, this is something we'll have to uh, keep a careful eye on uh, as it uh, develops in future model runs. That system moves out as we head out into voodoo country. It moves out into the Great Lakes. But you notice that the fetch doesn't come way down into the nor uh, from the northwest down into the southeastern U.S. So we have a coolish look to the pattern by February 5th, but not something that's extremely cold with a sharp low-latitude trough. And then by the time we get out to the end of the period, around the 10th of February, the flow has gone zonal. And this, of course, agrees pretty well with how the uh, NAO and the AO have gone fairly um, pretty much positive. So that indicates the absence of any really cold weather. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. Uh, you can check back with the blog for notes on Alabama's weather. Uh, in the meantime, I hope that you have a great Tuesday. Godspeed.